Jets W.R. Jeremy Curley can't explain suspension, says Ghost may be to blame. Florham Park, a month ago, when Jeremy Curley was suspended for violating the NFL's policy on performance-enhancing drugs, he issued a statement denying wrongdoing. I fully intend to investigate this matter until I am able to figure out what caused the positive test, the statement, issued on November 6, said in part. But Curley didn't have many answers Wednesday as he returned to practice from his suspension. I didn't have time to investigate it, Curley said. It is what it is. We're back now. Curley reiterated what he wrote in the statement, that he didn't knowingly take any banned substance. If I knew exactly what it was, I probably would have known the consequences behind it so I probably wouldn't have took it, Curley said. But it's in the wind now. It's in the past. Learn from it and move on. But when Curley was asked how the banned substance got into his body, things took a strange turn. I don't know, Curley said. There's a lot of ghosts around here. Ghost put it in there. You know, the ghost of Christmas past? I don't know. More, Jets W.R. Jeremy Curley suspended four games for ups more. Jets still have no plans to play Christian Hackenberg in the final three games the Jets are weighing keeping Curley for final three games of the season. Coach Todd Bowles said Monday the team has yet to make a decision. The Jets have a roster exemption that allows them to keep Curley on the reserve, suspended list until Monday at 4 p.m. before making a final decision. Curley, who was drafted by the Jets in 2012, signed days before the start of the season after being cut by the 49ers. He has 22 catches for 217 yards and a touchdown. The Jets all about out of the playoff chase and could have an incentive to move on from Curley, rookies Ardarius Stewart and Chad Hansen have seen much more playing time in Curley's absence. Jets cornerback Morris Claiborne had his worst game of the season during Sunday's loss to the Broncos. So what could he have done better? I could have not been limping the whole game, Claiborne said Wednesday. Claiborne said that he was playing hurt against the Broncos. The sprained right foot, which he suffered October 29 against the Falcons, has continued to bother him. And Claiborne admitted he suffered a little bit of a setback during the Denver game. He didn't practice Wednesday. But he said the injury was no excuse for his play. My performance was an embarrassment, to myself, to this ball club, Claiborne said. I know I'm way better than what I put out there last Sunday. Claiborne sat out on November 2 against the Bills and tried to play on November 12 at Tampa Bay. But he checked himself out of the game when it became apparent that he was still not healthy. Claiborne who has a lengthy injury history and has never played 16 games in a season, said he didn't consider benching himself again. I don't want to come out, Claiborne said. They kept asking me, but of course I'm going to tell them I'm okay. Claiborne said he's been hobbled since he returned from the injury, but got away with it the last two weeks. But Sunday in Denver was a bad combination, the foot got worse and he was facing an elite receiver in Demarius Thomas who finished with eight catches for 93 yards and a touchdown. It's just something that needs rest, Claiborne said of the foot. But we don't have no time to rest right now. We'll talk about resting, after the season, but right now there's not time to let it rest. I don't have the time. Claiborne said he plans to return to practice in full on Thursday. Injury report, here's the list of Jets who didn't practice Wednesday, Claiborne, foot. RB Matt Forte, knee, RB Elijah McGuire, ankle, S. Rontes Miles, hamstring, CB Rosh Hard Robinson, not injury related, G. Brian Winters, abdomen, ankle. Email, vasquez at northjersey.com.